Hello everyone. I am Aparna Kulkarni. Today I will show you one very simple and effective technique for purifying organic compound. The method is called recrystallization. You will find this experiment in first year chemistry practical syllabus. In this video I will show you how to perform this experiment and I will also discuss how this process of recrystallization removes impurities very important for practical viva so watch the video till end recrystallization is a method of purifying solid organic compound this process removes soluble and insoluble impurities present in organic compound and the technique is frequently used in industries so very important for an organic chemist we will see how to perform this experiment the requirement for experiments are shown here the experiment is carried out in three steps uh, the most important step is choice of solvent which solvent is to be used for recrystallization uh the condition for a uh, solvent to be used for recrystallization is the substance whichever substance we want to purify must be insoluble in that solvent under cold condition but should be soluble under hot condition so here uh, i have taken a substance to be purified in test tube and uh, i have added a half test tube water and you can see that the substance is insoluble under cold condition now i will start boiling this solution and uh, you can see that the substance get dissolved so this means that i can use uh, water as a solvent for purification of this particular organic compound uh, generally used solvents for purification are water or aqueous alcohol or alcohol okay so now we'll see the recrystallization procedure this is a crude compound which we want to purify so we have to transfer this to a conical flask then we will add a sufficient amount of solvent uh 15 to 20 ml uh, i am using water in this case and now uh we will keep this flask uh, on wire gauze for uh, heating the solution okay. uh, meanwhile uh, take a small piece of cotton uh, spread it properly and keep it at the neck of funnel and keep this filtration assembly ready for filtration uh, once your uh, solution uh, starts boiling uh, you have to filter this solution through uh, cotton so this filtered solution will get collected in 100 uh, cm cube beaker now uh, we will uh, cool this solution uh, in a beaker first at room temperature and then in ice bath after cooling uh, solid separates out uh, we will filter uh, the solid using uh, vacuum filtration so you will get all the uh, separated solid you will filter it using vacuum filtration next step is to uh, dry the purified solid and here you can see your crude compound and your purified compound uh, so after purification we get large shiny crystals of compound uh, this compound is now free from uh, soluble and insoluble impurities now question is why this process removes impurities uh, 
so when uh, when we uh, boil the solution uh, and filter it uh, through cotton uh, the insoluble impurities get trapped in cotton after cooling uh, when uh, the solid separates out uh, the soluble impurities will remain in solvent and when we uh, second time filter the solution soluble impurities get washed out so this is how uh, the whole process removes soluble and impu insoluble impurities so this is the experiment uh, we will meet next time with another video